New Brunswick, we work hard for a better economy. Over the past 50 years, that struggle has been constant. Could it be that we're going down the wrong path? Could it be that the path to a better economy is based on emotions, not on strategies? George Orwell wrote a little book called Why I Write. And in that book, he offered an essay from the 1940s where he came up with a distribution system for the top income earners and the bottom income earners. He offered the notion of a ratio of 10 to 1 so that the top income earner was 10 times more in terms of income than the bottom income earner. It was an attempt at a distribution system that had a sense of fairness to it, as well as a sense of limits. But buried in that was also the emotion of sharing, or the notion of kindness, in that if we all do well, then my success is connected to how all of us do. Something may have been lost over the past 50 or 60 years in how we look at our economy. Media tend to report it along the same lines, and it tends to be a competitive model. And they use the language of growth. Is it possible that we've been going down the wrong path? Is it possible that if we just change the perception a little bit from growth to distribution, from competition to cooperation, that our economy will make the leaps that we hope it would make and that we keep saying we want to make happen? If we could build an economy based on kindness, will we achieve the results we've been striving for for the past 50 or 60 years? Thank <laughs> you.